Hey there! Today, we will have a look at this pen. And this was actually one of the first pens I reviewed. It was one of the first pens I got, but this is a slightly different model. And when that pen was the Namiki Falcon, this is the Pilot Elabo. As I understand it, I could be wrong, but Elabo is just the Japanese name for the pen model. Also notice that this one doesn't actually have the Namiki brand on it, the, the high-end branch of Pilot, but just Pilot Japan. Okay, this nib, uh, this pen, is fascinating because it has a semi-flex nib that people go rather ballistic over uh, and not without reason. They come in soft, extra fine, fine, medium and broad. On my gold trimmed Falcon I have uh, a, a fine nib and this is the extra fine and that's definitely fine. You probably know in Japanese nib nomenclature or whatever you'd like to call it fine is very close to western extra fine so a Japanese extra fine would be a western extra extra fine which is pretty much a needlepoint nib so let's cover the parts of the pen I'll tell you what I like about it what I don't like about it and then I'll do a writing sample okay the very top of the cap there this finial you can see it's very reflective that is not someone's eye that is actually my webcam so you can see how extremely reflective that is you have the clip that is also very reflective it's rhodium plated and then you have this uh, nice center band that says Pilot Japan. People really enjoy the shape of the clip and I do too. I think it's very practical. It's pretty springy but it really slides into pen pouches, uh, breast pockets, etc. Very interesting. Then you have the barrel. This one is still sticker red. Uh, soft, extra fine and you can see it tapers nicely and then you get this end thing and there is no reflective bit there it's just black resin it's a resin pen you can post it and then you get the very unique nib shape I really don't think I've ever seen a nib shape like this uh, but it's definitely semi flex it says pilot it says 14k 585 it says SEF uh, and uh, at the bottom it says something which I can't really read right now and it doesn't really matter and then you get the feed uh, I'm still, I'm pretty sure it's a plastic feed, um, but that too looks pretty fancy, and then you can unscrew the barrel, and I'm still, I'm still deciding whether I should figure out if you can use this as an eyedropper, and the reason being that the, the, uh, these converters uh, that, that Pilot supplies really don't hold a lot of ink, and especially if you're flexing, uh, that takes quite some ink, and that's, uh, gonna run out very very quickly in my experience okay what do I like about the pen what do I not like about the pen I like the fact that it has a fun nib this is a nib that is a lot of fun and I really enjoy these types of pens for letter writing uh, because you can add just a little bit of flourish to your writing a little bit of character which is very nice are these full flex nibs no should they be treated as such no treat them for what they are semi flex nibs that will give you a nice bit of line variation if you try to push this too hard you can very well spring it um, so if you bear that in mind I think they're pretty cool they have nicely designed feeds they keep up well they write which is always nice especially in a flex pen um, and I, I really appreciate that things I don't like about it so much this is a super light pen now that's not really honest uh, how should I put that it's not really fair criticism because some people really like light pens for longer writing sessions a light pen may be very nice the only problem is it's so light that you hardly feel you're, you're holding a pen is that a problem that's up to you I tend to prefer heavier pens but I will admit that for a long writing session such a light pen is really nice um, the one thing I would complain about is that converter that just doesn't hold much ink you can also use a cartridge I don't know if you can there's also a larger capacity converter I don't know if that would fit in these pens it looks like it might that might be a good option so that too is criticism that you may uh, neglect I guess and if you don't mind refilling your pen a lot uh, that's fine too of course and with an extra fine nib under normal writing conditions of course the ink should last quite a while but as it is a semi flex nib you probably want to play with it and that's going to drain it a bit faster all right that's all I have to say about the Elabo I enjoy the the model I do think it's a nice classy design let's take a couple of measurements capped 
I have 136.6 millimeters or 5.38 inches uncapped it's not a very large pen 4.83 inches or 128 22.8 millimeters I'll see if I can fit it into my calipers posted because I always post it just because it's fairly small but also because it's so light 149.7 millimeters or 5.89 inches section diameter 0.38 inches or 9.7 millimeters to 0.42 or 10.8 millimeters the barrel diameter it tapers but I would say it's about the center I get 11.6 millimeters or 0.46 of an inch now what I want to see is almost empty the weight of the pen is about 16 18 grams so 16 to 18 grams my scale seems to be a little off recently but a very light pen okay let's see how the pen writes that's probably a lot more informative than me talking about the pen for a long time so let's do that next I hope this was useful and I gladly see you later bye bye okay writing with the pilot Elabo in soft extra fine. This is diamine sepia ink. All right. Definitely a lot of feedback. You really feel that this is an extremely fine nib. On the other hand, I wouldn't really call it scratchy. It's just a lot of feedback, but it's it's not an unpleasant experience. You just feel it well. Okay, let's do some fast writing. Now, there are some bits here where I made it skip, but there's also bits where it just hard started. Okay, uh, let's see the wetness. For such a fine nib, I have to say I'm actually pr quite impressed by the wetness. It's a really well-tuned nib. Now, of course, the thing that everyone wants to see is the line variation. So let's go there. Uh, this would be uh, the line width. Now, I thought I would just bring out my Omas Paragon, which has a fine nib so you can see the difference. That's a Western fine. And this is a Japanese extra fine. So you can see that it's really a very fine fine. Okay, line variation. I'm going to exert a little bit more pressure with every stroke. You can see that at, when, you know, when you push it really hard, the ink has some, or the uh, feed has some trouble keeping up. Uh, but I think if you go slow and you don't push too hard, you shouldn't anyway. You can't spring this nib, but it's more of a semi-flex than full flex. But you can see you can really get some nice line variation. I'm just going to try and push this nib as hard as I dare to. That's the max line variation I'm willing to push out. And you see that there's definitely some uh, railroading going on there. Okay, reverse writing for those of you who enjoy that. It's possible. Then again, it's already extra fine, so what you would gain by that, I don't know. But anyway, there you have it. Guys, I hope this was useful. The Pilot Labo. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.